As I sort of knew I was working on the film, I started talking to people like my granddad, for example, my grandmother, and they'd be like, oh yeah, of course, the, the Poles who, who did this incredible thing. And I was like, why, why does no one know about this? Why does no one of my generation know about this? Especially when it'd be a really great time for people to know about it, you know? No, oh, definitely. I mean, I, I knew nothing about it until reading the script and was like, whoa, wait a second. You know, we learned in school about the Battle of Britain, but not specifics. You, know. you mentioned that stuff with your, your grandparents. Yeah. You mentioned them. I mean, did they serve in World War II? And um, so they were a bit, I feel like my granddad was quite young. So he, ser he did his national service when the war was over. But he um, was a plotter when he did do it. So he was sort of, did what my character does in the film. So he was telling me all about that, which was amazing. <laughs> and Marla, did you, do you have your, does your family have a history of participation? In <laughs> yeah, my grandfather was in the Guadalcanal, um, but that's um, a different part. Um, but then was, was taken out because they realized he was pretty smart. So it, they took him out and he was decoding oh, wow. messages and stuff like that. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, so it doesn't hurt to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> but he did just turn 100 the other day, so. Whoa! Yeah. And it, of course, it was the RAF celebrated its centenary, uh, yeah. or celebrating its centenary this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Do, do you think that's, I mean, do, do you think this kind of film hopefully will shed more light to more people about the kind of history of the service and... Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's stuff all over London at the moment. Exhibitions everywhere of the RAF 100 and, and yeah, this is definitely part of it. I hope it educates people all over the world, not just here in, in London. Um, I think it, I mean, I hope it educates everyone, you know, especially about a story about this, the, about what these amazing men did. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just the Poles, it was, <laughs> People from New Zealand, Australians, you know, Americans, Canadians, uh, countless, so many people out and there. And the so. women. And the women. And the women. And the women, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it, it, you know, I think it touches base on anyone that's ever been forgotten or, or neglected, so. And, and there's, there, there, is, there are moments in the film where there is casual racism bandied around. Yeah. That, that, how, how is that to kind of just hear it on set? Because if, as, an, you know, as, a, as an audience member, you're sort of, mm, it's hard to hear that. Yeah, it's, but yeah, I yeah. mean, we live in a very sort of PC world where you really have to, really, I th which I think is, you know, good. Mm. So you don't want to upset people or offend people. Language like that just shouldn't be used. But yeah, back then it was a completely different. It was. I mean, and, and that was happening. So <laughs> why, why, n why not portray that? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's important for people to see these types of things and hear it. What was act? What would, would it was actually like then? So. And it's also, I guess, the film is showing that the that perception changed after seeing the merit of these men. You know, that's when they weren't really being seen as humans with this immense amount of talent and skill. And then mm -hmm. at the end, you know, you learn Polish bits of Polish exactly. and start to respect them, and yep. they're accepted and celebrated. You know.